Hey angels, it is the Lady Maylene. Today I'm here with a manga haul. Cause you guys know how much I love mangoes. But I picked out some really cool things and there's the sale was insane. I never thought I would see like a bunch of Junji Ito on sale, like half off. That was a dream come true. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And like, comment, literally everything helps so much. You have no idea how much likes and comments help each video. So if you do like and comment, thank you. I love you. So for today's question of the day, it is, what do you guys like better? A chair or an orange? So I don't think this is the right question for today. Oh, here it is. Okay. What do you guys prefer? anime or manga so for me i significantly significantly i significantly prefer anime a lot more than manga but uh, lately i've just been reading so much and i've seen that there's so many good mangas that never turn into an anime but when i'm reading sometimes i'm like man this would look so cool if i could see them like actually in action on tv I think I will always prefer anime, but manga is still really awesome. So like always, I'm gonna start with the three blind boxes that I got. Right Stuff, where I buy all of my manga because they have the stupidest, most amazing sales, has $1 manga blind boxes. I order some every single time to see if I get lucky. This time I got Priest Volume 6. I have gotten Priest a gajillion billion times. I don't even know if it's any good. I could probably have almost the whole series if I kept them, but I have, I don't really want them. It doesn't seem something that I'm too interested in, but we got Priest. The second thing, I've never gotten one of these, and it is actually a Trinity Blood novel volume four. I used to watch Trinity Blood and the art, <laughs> that art, oh my God, I was always so madly in love with like the beautiful, it looks so gothic and amazing, and I love their eyes. They're so shiny. I did get really excited, but I didn't realize it was a novel. I'm, ooh, this is, it looks on pictures. I'm not much of a like actual reader reader. It takes me forever to finish, but look at their beautiful outfits. <laughs> their clothes are just so gorgeous. So, and this is number four, so I don't think I'm going to keep this, but I still think it's cool. And then the next one, I am interested in this one. I think I might actually collect it. This is Phantom Dream Volume 4 by Natsuki Takaya, who made Fruits Basket. Every single book that uh, she makes has this on it. <laughs> They're always like, they made Fruits Basket. Read it, read it. I mean, like, other ones could be good too, not just only Fruits Basket. I love the art, of course, and I am currently going to keep this and I'm going to try to collect this series. So that was my three $1 blind boxes. Now let's start with what I bought. Everything I bought was 40 to 50% off. Right stuff is constantly doing sales. I don't think I ever want to buy anywhere else. The sales are just so good and everything was amazing. So the first thing that I bought is manga yokai stories, uh, ghostly tales from Japan. I didn't know it was going to be in a book like this. I thought it was going to be like a regular manga, but it's in a big book and it is just a couple of short horror stories just like it kind of says this is the art i have not started it but it seems very very interesting so i hope that i do enjoy this that's number one. Oh, spooky man or maybe lady oh spooky this one actually was one of the ones that i was not on sale but i've been looking for an asadora number one for a very very long time i have two three four five and like six or something like that and i cannot find one anywhere they finally had it in stock when i was making this order so i was like i'm gonna buy it I, I did buy their membership so i do have a slight discount by the way guys if you have if you guys buy manga if you guys want to buy manga i do have a link for right stuff i i made like an affiliate link with them so it does give me a little bit of commission it would be amazing if you guys are just gonna buy from right stuff to use my link it would help me it would help the channel and i would be so grateful that would be really kind of you so if you just happen to want to make an order, it's no different than like just normally buying from them, except except I do get a little bit of something, which would be really nice. <laughs> I haven't read it yet since I have not had number one, but I've always was so interested. It always has like a really cute picture here, and in the back it looks like things were destroyed, maybe in a war. I'm not completely sure what this is about, but the cover is really interested in me. So I'm wondering like, is it happy? Is it sad? Is it a mixture? Is what's going on in this story? I got super, super, super excited when I saw this was on sale and I was like, gimme, ah, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give so it is the Card Capture Sakura Clear Card Manga was on sale. Look at all that I got, look at it. It's so exciting. So I got all the ones that I did not have. And the pictures, as always, are just breathtaking. Her outfits are like the most beautiful thing ever. I, 
I've read all the ones that I have and I ended up buying, uh, let's see, 5, 7, 9, 10, 12, 11, and 12. You guys know this is one of my favorite series in the whole entire world. Of course, I need to collect them. These, I want posters of all of these covers. <laughs> Look how beautiful. At like 40% off, I was like, heck yeah, give me everything you have. <laughs> and another thing that I was just like, oh, no way, no way, um, was that they had a lot of Junji Ito on sale for, I think it was between 30 and 50% off. I can't remember exactly, but they are expensive. You guys know some of Junji Ito's manga is expensive because it's so big and it has so many stories. So I was just over the moon. I bought as many as I could afford. Um, one of them that I got is Tomie. Is It's the last one that I need that has like this kind of cover. This one is the fattest one yet. Tomie, oh my god, it's just such a classic. Is there any? Let me see some not inappropriate pictures because sometimes she's naked. Tomie. Well, I'll show you this picture. Look how pretty. I always think she was so beautiful. I read the story like three different times, but I've never owned it. So I'm gonna read it again, and then when you're done, you can use it as a weight because it is just so heavy. Ooh, one, two, and then you can be so hot like Tommy. Yeah. So next Junjito story that I got was a black black Par is black paradox. I really, really like the cover of this. I want a poster of this as well. I have not read the story yet, and it sounds very interesting if you guys don't know the story like me it says four people um intend on killing themselves meet through a suicide website black paradox and then the end it says they wander together in search of a perfect death faithfully opening a door that leads them to a rather bizarre destiny so this is a one story so it's not his short stories and <gasps> i'm sad i'm sad i hope it is great next one is the one i'm currently reading it is smash this is short stories which are my favorite i have a, such a weakness for short horror stories it has a quite a few. This story right here called Earthbound has become one of my favorite Junji Ito stories and I have not read it yet, which is surprising. I get really happy when I find new stories that I haven't read. Long ago, long, long time ago, I actually used to read all of Junji Ito's stories on Tumblr where somebody was um, translating them and posting it on their Tumblr. So I would always be on <laughs> that person's Tumblr every time they would upload a new story and that's how I would read them. So I've read quite a lot. But now that I'm buying, of course, the books that come out and when I'm... When I come across a story that I haven't read, I'm like, yes, finally something new. I'm so happy. But I actually didn't realize he had so many stories. It has been a lot of stories. I'm like, dang, how many did you write? The next one that I got is so pretty. I love this cover and I like how it's it's so shiny. This is the limit liminal zone, the liminal zone, the twilight zone. <laughs> And I believe this one is also short stories and in the front it has La Llorona because it has, it has stories right here. I'm pretty sure it's short stories unless it's the chapters for the story. But yeah, La Llorona, she's right there. She's famous. I'm always excited to read Junji Ito, so I hopefully I like this one as well. One that is not Junji Ito, it is Blood on the Tracks 11, which was also not on sale. But whew, this story, I really want to finish this story, but I keep not finding... um. So 9 and 10, I'm missing volumes 9 and 10 and I cannot find them anywhere. I've tried the store. I don't want to overpay online. So I'm waiting to find it at a good price. This has easily become one of my top favorite just anything ever. I wonder if it's going to be made into an anime because it is quite popular. I started reading it because people were saying it was disturbing. And I was like, ooh, in what way? Because <laughs> it looks cute. Like the covers are always uh, the boy and his mom, the boy and his mom. And I'm like, how is this disturbing? But it is very disturbing it is messed up it is i wondered if it was like supernatural or if there's gonna be like murder or crazy stuff but it is kind of more than anything about child abuse and it is really sad but it's like so messed up and it's like so dramatic you just go like what's gonna happen next oh my god ah! <laughs> and i feel like it has so many cliffhangers and twists that i really love and i need volume nine because volume eight had a big twist in the end that left me like this and I, I can't find it, so at least I have this when it comes time to read 11. So we have two more books. This one is Frankenstein. It is a hardcover. He, listen. Yeah, yeah. So I believe this one is, yeah, it, it is short stories, but it says in the back, I believe the first one is Frankenstein, and then it says, includes six tales of Oshikiri, a high school student who lives in a decaying mansion connected to a haunted parallel world. So we'll see what that's about. I'm excited just like I'm excited for all the other ones. And the very last book that I got is Fragments of Horror. 
I wanted a couple more, but I ran out of money. So this one is also, oh, it's getting me old. It's also short stories. Here's some of the stories it has. I don't even know if you could see it. And this one includes a story, Blackbird, which actually creeped me out when I read it. So I'm interested to see it. It's been like a really long time since I read it. If it'll creep me out as much as it did back then. But that is my Mongo haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have more over here if you guys want to watch. And don't forget to answer the question of the day. I love you guys so much. You guys are so beautiful and your nose is so pretty and perfect. And you have beautiful eyelashes. I really hope you have a wonderful day and I will see your pretty faces in my next video. Bye!